Good day, everyone. My name is Rory McPherson. I'm the executive chef here at the Sheraton Hotel Newfoundland from Highlands, Newfoundland, myself. Today, I'm going to do a, is my own version of a Newfoundland uh, seafood platter. And today, we have some uh, cod fillet, salmon, uh, scallops, lobster, and prawns. Uh, so what I'm going to do first, I have butter poached lobster and I've taken a lobster tail so I have some uh, melted butter with a little bit of iceberg vodka in it and a little bit of salt and pepper. So I'm just going to take my lobster and just put it in this butter. Now you don't have to totally immerse it, you just leave it in there for a few minutes, just keep flipping it. The, my lobster is already cooked so it's just got to sort of re-therm re, uh, re or warm through. Okay. Next I got to do, I got my pan on and the big thing for a platter is to make sure your pan is good and hot. Okay. And even though there seems like there's a lot of components here, um, it, it, it is very simple to put together. Okay, so what I do for my pan fried cod, I'm going to dredge that in my seasoned flour. And for my salmon, I'm doing a crispy skin salmon fillet. So, uh, scale salmon skin on one side and regular salmon on the other. I'm just going to dip the skin side in, the, in my seasoned flour. Reason being is that will help make the, the skin very, very crispy. Add in a bit of oil. And I use canola oil. And what I'm going to do is halfway through the cooking process, I'm going to add in some, some butter. Butter is a chef's friend. And the reason I add in butter is going to add flavor. And if you just try to use butter, the burning point is very low and it will burn. A little bit of smoke going there. So now I'm going to add in my cod fillet. Serve it side down and my salmon. They'll take about the same amount of time to cook. Also for my cod, I have some pre-cooked scrunchions. So I'll just have to toss them in there for a second and warm them through. Okay, and add a little bit more seasoning onto that. Anytime I do seafood here at the Sheraton, I always like to use my fancy dancy zester and I just put in some, some lemon and, li and lime zest. You don't have to, but I just think it adds a different, uh, different flavor dimension to your fish. Lemon, lemon really goes well with all fish, of course. And as you can see, my lobster is starting to heat up nicely there. And again, you don't want it to, uh, you want it to just be simmering. You don't want it at too much of a rapid boil, so I'll just haul it out the heat there. And there's actually enough heat in that butter now to uh, warm up my lobster tail sufficiently. And you can see I got a nice caramelization there. Once I flip my cod, then I'm going to put it on is a couple of my scrunchions, and that'll start to warm them through. Okay. Like I say, it's only going to take about two minutes for the salmon and two minutes for your cod. But what we're going to add in now is our scallops. Again, all this can be cooked into one pan. Okay. So the scallops I've had taken off the abductor muscle. And I've dried them off, and I'm going to put them in there like so. Again, making sure your pan is hot. You want to see that sizzle, that uh, spatter of oil to make sure you're going to get a nice caramelization. Okay, a little bit of seasoning, and they'll also get is our lemon zest. Okay, just like so. Now we'll just check our salmon, make sure it's not getting. Oh, and you can see that beautiful brown crusty skin. So when you bite it, you're going to get a nice crunch. All right, so that goes off to the side. Our scallops are going, and then we're going to add in our, our prawns. A little bit of salt and pepper. Again, the big thing with any seafood, you have to stay, you have to wash it. You can't put it in, go watch TV for a bit, and come back. Because you definitely want to make sure you don't overcook it. Now you can see those scallops. We've got a beautiful caramelization going there. And again, the scallops are going to take about three minutes total and the same for the prawns big thing you don't want to overcook your prawns and scallops because again they will get very tough and rubbery all right now as they're cooking i'm going to add in is my butter and like i say this is going to add a dimension of richness and flavor to your seafood and if you find your pan's getting a bit too hot just haul it off the heat for a second and i'll stop it from uh, burning up on you okay and we'll just stick that to the side here Flip over our prawns, just like so. Now, for my scallops, I'm going to be serving preserved watermelon. And all that is is watermelon, which I've cured in uh, rice wine vinegar, pickled ginger. Okay? But because the scallops are going to be hot, I'm just going to warm that up slightly. Okay? Now, I'm not going to cook it through. I just want to get that little bit of chill out of it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of a caramelization on that as well. Now, I'm going to check my fish, my cod and salmon, to see how it is. What I like to do is I always check. For the firmness of fish, when I fold my hand like so, just go for the crease. That's what your fish should feel like. Okay? Any more than that is going to be overcooked. Okay, so my scallops are ready, my prawns are ready, shrimps, uh, salmon, and uh, 
my lobster's ready. Next, I'm going to take it to the plate, okay? Today for this, because again, this is my special twist on it, so I'm using a, a very large platter, okay? Normally, we'll go on a smaller plate, but again, just for presentation, I want to make sure I get a, the full effect of the food. The thing with my plates, you're going to see color. I'm very big on color and flavors, okay? Uh, so the first one we're going to put on is our crispy skin salmon fillet. And what I have here is a beet and a, a maple puree, okay? Which I'm going to put on just like so. Add in some orange and grapefruit with that. And these are just segmented oranges and grapefruit, okay? Nothing else added to it. The beet and maple puree are gonna, is going to have a lot of flair, flavor, as will the salmon. Because remember, I put a lot of citrus on the salmon as well. So just like so. And our crispy skin salmon fillet on top of that. Okay. And we're going to add on just a little bit more color, some green onion on top of that. Next, we're going to put is our pan fried cod. Okay. Just like so. With our scrunching. All right. Uh, after that, we're going to do is our cured uh, scallops. Okay. So I'm going to lay down to some pickled cucumber, okay? Because this is more of an Asian-influenced uh, dish, all right? And then I'm going to put, here's my seared watermelon, okay? With a toothpick and just attach it to my preserved watermelon. Okay? Lobster, butter poached lobster. And I'm going to serve that on top of a mint and pea puree there's a Thai chili sauce which I've made and that has lots of accents cilantro citrus and lime and we'll put our prawns in that like so all platters here at the Sheraton will definitely have our uh, uh, starch and veg so just some parsley boiled potato like so, some carrot. Next, I'm just gonna add on is some, uh, I have some flavored oils and some balsamic vinegar. Totally up yourself what you put in there. Looking at it now, I think that's enough color, enough flavor combinations. Again, uh, my version of a traditional Newfoundland seafood platter. Uh, looked complicated, but again, it took about six minutes from start to finish once I had all my preparations ready to serve this dish. You can serve it at home for any of your guests coming through. You definitely would impress them. Enjoy.